Live from WTAE, this is Channel 4 Action News, taking action for you. Just about 9.55 on your Sunday morning, a Hall of Fame quarterback with Pittsburgh roots is now home, and he's bringing a little taste of success and a whole new playing field. This morning, Channel 4 Action Sports Director Andrew Stocky introduces us to Dan Marino, the owner of a new restaurant. Anthony's Coal Fired Pizza, new to Settler's Ridge, but backed by a very familiar face. So it started out with one, and I helped him on the second one, and now there's going to be this the 30. Yeah. The Hall of Fame quarterback turned business entrepreneur. Wherever he goes, people know him. Uh, that's the truth, man. I'm known for but, pizza. But better for work. Yeah, known as the pizza guy. Yeah. <laughs> the, pizza. the pizza guy who admits he doesn't know how to make a pizza. I could if I had to, I'd probably be able to make a pizza, but we have enough good pizza makers here, so I'll just let them do their job. But with a little prodding, he agreed to roll with the dough. This, I usually don't do this, so I'm doing it for you, I'm doing it for you guys. Train's facing down. Yeah, okay. And you go like this. Like this? Yeah. Okay, how about that? Yeah. What do you think? You got it. You might not want to eat this pizza. You got it. But like he did on the field, Marino was soon calling signals. Flip it. Flip it. On your knuckles like this. Okay. And try to run. Like, like this? Yeah. Like this or the other way? Knuckles. Knuckles. Like, oh, like this. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. <I'm> a... <laughs> and for me to be able to bring that back to Pittsburgh and, and uh, family and friends day today and see all the people, friends that I've had for many years and family to come out and see what we're all so proud of. And, uh, and I, I think it's going to be a hit. It's going to be a home run. Not bad for the former WTA intern, isn't that neat? Well, Dan and Anthony say they're not done bringing pizza back to the Berg. They plan to open a second Anthony's coal-fired pizza in Monroeville next spring. Let's get one last look at the forecast.